Hello, I'm Linda from Barlatti's Body Blitz and here's little Minnie in her bucket bed fast asleep. Today we're doing tighter acids day 13. We're going to be using our light hand weights again. I'm using 1.5 kilos, which is around three pounds. We're going to be using our light ankle weights. I want you to go anywhere from no ankle weights to half a kilo up until 1.5 kilos, but no heavier because we will be using long lever exercises and going quite high for some of our motions. So I don't want you to hurt your joints. So that's between one and three pounds. You also need your chair and we're going to be using a mat underneath our knee for two of the exercises where we're really going to be kind of balancing on our knees, which might be a little bit um, sore even if you're on a carpeted floor. So just have your mat handy. We're going to get started without any equipment. For today's arm segment, I'm going to move a little bit faster, give slightly less cues because I want you to be able to just follow along. Okay, so I am still going to cue, but not as much as last time. So start with your arms in front, shoulders are down and back, nice hip width stance, and we're just going to be opening up to the sides. Push your chest through, widen out. We're going to use this exercise and add on in four, three, two, one, and go out and up, out and out. So there's me cueing too much again. I can't help myself. <laughs> out and up. Now just stick with this and down. Up and down. Start to hinge. Nice flat back as you hinge. We're going to stay in the hinge position and do those arms again, but with a nice little knee bop and staying hinged forward. Bring those arms up. Now clap for two and the other side. Staying hinged. Change it to singles. Clapping your hands together in the center, at least grazing your fingers together. Make it more upright again. Now front and back with a flexed hand. We're going to double it up. My hair's going in my eye. Keep doubling, really push your chest forward. Pinch your shoulder blades. Now across, across and double. Across, across and double. Wringing out the waist, warming everything up. We've got a tough ab set today using the chair, but sitting on it. Now single it out. Nice and fast. Bring it to the front, still punching across with a flex palm. Now up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Maybe lift your heels a little bit here. We're staying up, one hand. Now faster. Slow again, up. Now faster, other side, diagonal across, faster, slow, and faster, now slow, and fast, well it's not really slow, but it's doubles and singles. Last time, and singles, last time other side, and singles, thumbs back and up, deep breaths, stay up, down and down, hips to the side, now bend your elbows, Open your hands, really pull behind, four, three, two, one, stay on one side, the other hand can just be out to the side, now big long arms, chopping behind you, chop, now in front, in front, behind, in front, behind, lean into it. 
three, two, one. Stay in front. Really pull down. Pull down. Elbow to hip bone. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. And long. Extend your arm. And long behind. Chopping behind. Bend. Extend. Now it's front and back. Front and back. Start leaning into it. Four. Stay to the front and down. Row all the way down to your hip bone. Two and one. In and in. Big circles and then down to your hip. Now both in. Last thing before we grab your weights. In and in. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, grab your weights. Come back to your space. We're going to come up into a W. Come across and across. Sweep behind, behind. So meet it across, opening all the way, and then straight arm, straight arm. Use your waistline here and come down and down. Lots of angle changes. Last time, and down. Now stay here and just punch up. Punch up on the corner, little pushes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come across to the other side. Then sweep down, sweep down, across. Sweep down and down. Push your shoulders away from your ears. Down and down, across. Down and down. Last time. Down and down. Stay here and push up to the corner. Push, push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come in front, almost like you're hugging a beach ball sort of shape. It's up and then row. So you're coming up overhead and then rowing with your palm to the back and row. Up and row. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Now row, extend diagonal back. Row, extend. It's a flowing motion. Row, extend. Squeezing the back of the arm, your tricep, the other arm is still active. Four, Three, two, one. Now just row, row, row. Slightly hinged at the hips. Row and row. Four, three, two, one. Just extend. Diagonal back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. It's up and out, up, and palm to the back. Slightly hinge as you bring that elbow up to the side. Four, three, two, one. Now row, extend diagonal, row, diagonal. So bop your knees a bit and let this flow. Up and in, out, up and in, out. Four, three, two, last one. Just row, row it up, row. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, and extend to the diagonal. Tricep press, press. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Palms to the back. We're gonna switch our arms in front and behind. In front and behind. Breathe through it. Four more. Three, two, last one. We're going to come up and out. So come upright, then hinge. Up and out. Up and out. Four, three, two, and one. Reverse it, it's up and out. Hinging from the hips with a flat back, tummies are in. Up and out. Four, three, two, and last one. Just stay here for a few more of these. Four, three, two, one. Now, can you rotate your palms to the front instead? Same exercise. Your arm at the back needs to come out far enough so you're not going to kind of hit yourself with that weight. Four, three, two, and one. Keeping the palms in front. Two in, one big Y. In, in, and Y, or V, whatever you want to call it. In, in, and up. Four more. Three, two, one. Reverse it. Up, up, and row. Up, up, and row. Nearly done with our weights. Up, up, and row. Slightly hinging. Four, three, two, last one. Now just up and back, up and back. Eight, seven, hinge it. Six, five, tricep extension at the back. Four, three, two, one, last burnout. Bend, press to the corner. Press and press. Press and press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. No more weights. We need our chair. And we need to put on our ankle weights. So strap them on securely. Make sure they're nice and tight so they don't move around. Nothing worse than your ankle weights sliding around. Okay, we are going to slide our butt forward and bring your hands to the back of the chair so that you're leaning back almost like in a tricep dip position. Start bringing your legs up. Point your toe, try just to tap down very lightly and bring those legs up and up. Four, three, two, one. Now turn your legs in a diamond shape, same thing, up and up. Tap and tap. Four, three, Two, one. Now knock your knees together, your toes are further out, and we're going to do both legs up to the center. So try to have less weight in your arms. In fact, if you want to, you can even put your arms in front. Three, two, one. We're going to go straight out, out. In, in. So up and out, up and in. Out and in, out and in. Lead with the other side. Out, out, in, in. Up and out, in, in. Our hip flexors are getting sore, don't worry, there's a break coming up. Out, out, in, in. Nice job. Okay, sit up, 
nice and tall. We're going to put our hands behind our head. We're going to tip our body to touch our thigh. So your leg is slightly coming out to the side. So it's coming diagonal up and you're just touching down, diagonal up. Four, three, two, one. Now stay on this side. Do the same thing, but tap your heel. So you're slightly kind of turning your knee in and your foot out. Four, three, two, one. And other side. So you're leaning to the side. Reaching for your heel, bring that leg up slightly on a diagonal. Come on, four, three, two, one. Nice job, we're going back to that same position with our arms back. We're gonna extend our legs wide. We're gonna come over and out, over and out. We're gonna add on a knee in. So it's over and out, knee in, back out. Over and out, knee in, back out. Come on. Knee in. So as the knee comes in, you're crunching. Knee in. Last time, over and out, stay in with the knees. Bend your body towards it and away. Towards and away. Three, two, one, same thing other side, just over and out to start. Over and out. Come on, turn on your core here. You should be able to do this without hands. Add a knee in, knee in and out. Over and out, knee in and out. Three, two, last one, hold it here, knee in. So in with your chest as the knee comes in. Four, hard one I know, two and one. Sit up a little bit, flex your heels. It's single, single, double. Pick up your knees, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Come on, you can do it. Two more. Single, single, double. Last time. Double, nice job. Come onto your tippy toes. We're gonna tip directly to the side. Up and in and tip, up and in and tip. Now start to lift the opposite leg to the arm. So as you tip, you lift the opposite leg to the arm reaching to the floor. You're leaning directly to the side. Four, three, two, one. Last thing. Deep breath in, extend your legs. We're gonna do straight leg scissors. You can slightly bend at the top, but try and keep it straight at the top. So slightly bend at the bottom, keep it straight at the top. This is the last exercise on the chair. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. All right, we're on to our lower body. You will still need the chair and your ankle weights and the mat for a couple of the exercises. Okay, come behind your chair. You're gonna bring your leg across and diagonal back. So across the top of the chair and then diagonal to the back corner. I'm just using the back of the chair to give me a height to aim for. But if you're finding that your chair is just too high to do this, you can just do it on the side. Okay, that's another option. Now the other thing is, try not to hold on for dear life. I want you to try and use your core as much as possible here. So try and keep your hands very light on that chair. I want you to think full extension at the top Diagonal back, squeeze your side of the glute all the way up. Breathing through it. 
Hold your belly in, it'll help you with your balance. Okay, the next one, we're gonna turn the chair. We're gonna tap our leg up and down. So it's up to the top and down. As high as you can, if it's just not achievable for you to tap the top, then please just come to your height as long as it's challenging. My leg is bent and it is turned out. So I'm trying to lead this move with my inner thigh. And if you're down here and you may just want to do raises, that's fine as long as you're really feeling the burn. If you have super heavy ankle weights, raising it up this high just may not work for you. Your supporting leg has a bend in it. Once again, really try and hold your tummy in. At the bottom, I'm tapping, I'm not resting my leg, okay? You really need to keep the leg under tension the entire time. Up and down. Nice tall spine, shoulders are down and back. Deep breaths. Up and down, nice job. Okay, now we're going to put one hand on the seat of the chair. We're gonna bring our leg across the top, extend, and then extend directly in line with the hip. So angle your chair however you feel comfortable. I'm actually hitting my wall, which is kind of a good thing because then I can make sure that I'm directly going to the side rather than diagonally up again like last time. So this time my inner thigh is down to the floor and I'm focusing on keeping my leg in the same horizontal plane. So I'm keeping it at the same height here as it is here. Once again, hold your belly in and try not to put so much weight on the chair. You might even be able to take your hand off and maybe take the top hand off. Keep checking and testing. Your balance is something that also needs to keep improving. So you've got to challenge yourself. Breathe through it. We're on the mat after this and we're going to need that mat underneath our knee. Across and out. Okay, so grab the mat. And we're coming into an all fours position on our knee. We're going to open up, extend, tap our toes and then tap our knees. So it's an external rotation, like a diamond shape. Tap your knees, toe, extend. Now once you have it, I want you to start pushing back as you extend the leg. Push back. Try to hit every single one of those points each time. So it's up, it's tap, it's knee, it's tap. It's back, it's tap, it's knee, it's tap. Extending back and up again like the first exercise. Okay, now we're going to do a down dog exercise. So if you can't do down dog, stay in all fours. Otherwise, we're going to raise up, come down, extend the leg side up and down. From here, raise it up, come down, extend the leg up and down. Otherwise, you're just here, extend up and down. Okay, you're, you've got the choice, but I want you to be challenged. So. We've been doing this for a while now. Maybe try a few of the down dogs. Or a plank. If you don't want to come all the way into a down dog, maybe just come into a plank like this. And then out, up and down. You've got options here, people. Choose a level that works for you and stick with it. And down, up and down. So I'm actually never putting my knee down on my moving leg. Up and down, in and up, nice job. Okay, now we're coming into a forearm plank and we're going to bring our leg out to the side and then up extend. So, out to the side and then as you come up with that leg, 
straight leg extension, you're moving back with your upper body. So it's side, extend back, side, extend back. If you want to do this in a full plank, be my guest. But at this point, I am opting for knees. Side, it's a small hydrant. You're not going to get it up as high as usual because we're in this stunted position. Come on. If you need a break at any point, just take a really short break and come back when you're ready or when you're not quite ready. <laughs> side. Okay, we're up again. We're doing the other side using our chair. So turn the back of the chair towards you. Swing your leg over and up diagonal. Okay. This is my wobbly side, so I'm going to try not to fall over, over, and up diagonal. Remember, you're really reaching with that toe. Spend some time up there. Hang out at the top for a split second and squeeze. Are you feeling your core doing all of these exercises where you're changing angles, especially with those ankle weights on? It's so much harder. You've got all that instability that you've got to combat with all of your little supporting muscle fibers. Come on, up and back. Last one. Finish it. Now turn out, and we're tapping up and down. Deep breaths. So it's up and down. Move your chair until you come to a comfortable distance. Up and down. Now, if you want to make this slightly easier, you're going to rock back as your leg comes up and rock forward as your leg comes down. That makes it slightly easier because you're not holding everything in isometric tension. Okay, so that's your option. So maybe do a few of these when it's starting to get unbearable and that may just get that lactic acid out long enough for you to do a few more without moving the rest of your body. Come on. Leading with the inner thigh, turn that inner thigh up to the ceiling. And if you're just down here, that's fine, as long as you feel it. Two and one. Okay, one arm on the chair. We're going to bring it across and then side. So you need to find the positioning again that it's not digging into you. So across and back, across and back. Breathing through it. So you're coming directly in line with your hip. Outer thigh to the ceiling. Keeping that leg on the same level. If you had another chair over there, your leg would be just above the chair, just like it is here. Across and back. And remember, you should be able to not use your hands. One at a time. Squeeze your outer thighs and glutes and hips. Breathe through it. We need the mat after this underneath our knee. Three, two, and one. Okay, move the chair. You don't need that anymore. Get the mat. <clears throat> Come into that. All fours position, legs up, diamond shape. Come up, come tap, internal rotation. So back as you extend, and then internal rotation. Breathe through it. Up and in and down and in. Now 
Use your upper body here as well. And obviously your core, holding you in this unstable position. It's really good to keep mobilizing through the hips by rotating in different directions. It can help with a tightness in the hips. Nearly done. Okay, so we're going for that down dog leg raise to the side tap on the knees. So come into down dog leg raise, come down, extend, up and down. Raise it up, come down, extend first, up and down. I'm never putting my knee down. Okay, this moving leg, I'm keeping it up. I'm extending it, I'm floating it down. I'm extending it. Try, try to push yourself up, just using your arms and that supporting leg. And remember your option is to stay on your knees and just do a raise with a little push up and out, up and down. Come on, just 10 seconds. Up and down, last time through. Okay, the next one we're on our forearms and we're doing the side hydrant and a leg raise to the back. So come up, hydrant first, and then push your body back while you extend. Hydrant and extension. Now, if you don't want to move your body back and forth, you can just do this, okay? Tiny stunted motion. But if you want to come back more, it's actually a little bit easier, I find, and it feels better. Now, if you want to be up on your wrists because your elbows are getting sore, you can still do this on your wrists. It just feels a little different and it's hard to keep your bottom leg or your back leg up. Squeeze your glute at the top. Once you see it, look in front of you. Don't crane your neck to look at me. Tiny hydrant, big extension. Last couple of seconds and done. We're done, people. May as well just stay down here to stretch. Hands by your chest. Deep breath in and push up. Ah, oh, the heart rate always seems to get up in those last few exercises. I think it's because we're using our large muscle groups. Stay down here, grab your ankle, just pull in towards you, stretching your quad. If you can, while you're in that position, you could attempt to take off your ankle weight and throw it at me. <laughs> no, not really. Hold that in. And then other side. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm that skilled at doing both at the same time, but at least I've managed to get my ankle wet off. In the process, I Velcroed myself. Okay, come back into a child's pose. Deep breath and armpits down to the mat. My lower back really felt those standing exercises in particular with those ankle weights. So it's always good to kind of stretch that out and then round up, hold on to your knees, blow out all the air. I'm just gonna move my mat. Come into a straddle stretch. Lean forward a little bit. Oh, that feels good. Legs together, hinge forward from the hips. Point and flex for a hamstring stretch. Then bring your leg across, hug that in. Stay nice and tall through your spine. And other side.
And then just bring your soles together, little butterfly position, releasing through the hips. And then just reach over and over, maybe just come cross-legged. And across the body. Interlace, come up, side to side, behind the head, out, interlace behind, pull up. That feels really good. And one more rotation to the back. And again. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me for Tighter Assets Day 13. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked some of the new exercises using the chair, standing exercises with the ankle weights. You'll be seeing all different types of combinations. So keep yourself motivated and just keep going with me. Your body and your mind will thank you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again really soon. Bye for now.